Hey guys, it's Lucid. Welcome back. I uh, got another turn with Bumble Rumble, turn 81. Uh, and yeah, I, I've had way more fun in this game, I think, due to recording. So we had a bunch of things happen. Uh, first of all, I sent Relay a message saying, Hey, did you teach those uh, elves a lesson or something? And he said, yeah, they're learning their lesson. So I'm guessing that was successful. Uh, the, the Relay in War against Vanarus. We cast Dark Knowledge on a Throne Province, and we found Bull of the Lost, which is a pretty decent site. Um, if you have a Death Mage in it, you get a Bane, which, unfortunately, I don't believe it's the Commander, I believe it's just the, the White. But still, that's pretty sweet, that's a good use of a shitty Death Mage. Um, like, one that would otherwise just be researching. And we get one Death Gem, so very nice. Uh, we cast Augury. Didn't find anything. Call the Winds, uh, I believe... Anyway, uh, we cast um, Astral Window at this province. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't reveal anything. Satano has successfully cast Celestial Rainbow. So, there you go, Satano. Thanks, buddy, for getting that off. Uh, Wish, so we are now even more magically empowered. And Nyad casts Awaken Ivy King, and then Clamfield. Um, so that's actually really sweet. We've got... Uh, Clamfield and Boiling Current. Boiling Current is a two gem site. And then Clamfield, which is also in the same province, is 30 gold and one astral. So, very nice in terms of site searching at turn 80. <laughs> like, we found a lot in Yiss's land. We found these three sites, we found this. Uh, I'm- if he hasn't searched water, like, water and astral, there's no way he's searched death. So, we're gonna have, like, a little site searching spree here, uh, in a hot minute. Uh, actually, I probably should even go ahead and move, like, these two guys over here, too. We'll leave one. But one of them's gonna do Dark Knowledge, and the other one is probably gonna enter and summon Banes. Um, I don't really have any battles for you this turn. We just have this one with our Golem going in and fighting these knights. And, uh... Yeah, he's gonna be pretty hard to kill. He's got Helm of Perfection. Which gives him pretty ridiculous uh, head protection plus all, 5, which is pretty damn high. Um, in addition, it's going to give Sight Vengeance. So yeah, the chance of these guys hitting him once he's ethereal if they have normal weapons. Very, very... Just watch what happens. So he has yet to be hit. These guys, already losing eyes. Yeah. That is a scary, scary golem. I mean, you can still kill him with things that kill golems, but anyway. Like, these guys lost both eyes. Okay. So, uh, did we find any blood? How many blood saves we get? Okay, we can empower another guy in, in blood. Um, I think we made a flesh eater. I think it's time for you to now make a sanguine dousing rod. I need to get another bat out here to empower in blood. We actually are not going to quite have enough this turn to do it, so it actually is going to work out okay. Do we have any more bats? Alright, we must have some bats. Looking for death one. Here's one. Okay, these ones are already in that province. No. Oh, here's one. He's sneaking. Okay. This one is sneaking. So if we... From the Green Sea. I think I know where that is. So... If we can't find another one, I think we'll use him, and then I'll just bring another research- another... We can get other people to go underwater, but it's gonna be harder to get good blood hunters. So, I think actually you were gonna go over here. And then from there he will blood hunt. We're going to send... Uh, maybe we need some more necromancers. Okay. 
Okay, so Satano has successfully cast it. Nice. Um, I guess he's just gonna hang out now. There's a demon gate. I think we can have bad things happen to us. So, like, this can cause bad events. Maybe we throw some items on her? You know, just in case. In case shit goes down. Uh, yeah, that actually sucks. I can't move her from this province. Does it say where she came from? I thought it said if you clicked it with the... Maybe it's only if you're taking damage? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, we're not taking damage, so this must be it. I think it's okay. There's a lot of guys here. We'd have to get really unlucky, but I do try to avoid kind of tail chances of shit like that on globals. Um, but yeah, so we have, uh, we've stolen, uh, what do you call it? Celestial Rainbow now, uh, which is kind of sweet. Uh, it's probably the only time you'll see Celestial Rainbow get stolen on YouTube. It's one of the rarest globals to go up, because you have, you need really weird paths to cast it. I mean, I had to, you, if you use, a like, any summonable mage, really, you have to empower, uh, to cast it. Which is what I did. Um, now how good is it gonna be? Well, it's gonna be pretty nice. Five strong dominion. I basically got a dome in every province. Um, and I'm gonna get like 500 gold a month. Um, yeah, so I would say that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty damn good. Um, so let's take a look at the global happenings of the world. So this, I was, I cast Astral Window here trying to see a fight. Apparently the fight was here. And either um, there was just a bait army here, and this army got crushed, mostly. Because um, it's basically just third communicants. Uh, so either that happened, uh, and then everybody routed, leaving behind the communicants. Um, or there was a huge battle, and these were the only people left. Like, there was something that happened here. Uh, either Tianchi got completely crushed... Um, or they wiped out each other, uh, except for these. Like, I, I'm not really sure, but I think what happened is that there was a big battle. I think Tianchi lost almost everything, and then Pythium won the battle, but only because he had a bunch of communicants, like, stuck on the field. Anyway. So this is probably going to go to Pythium. So then it's like, well, uh, Tianchi seems to be winning barely, like, this is under siege, and they're kind of winning against Shinuyama. Um, but I don't know, this is a scary army. <laughs> and this doesn't appear- I mean, Imperial Geomancers are good and all, but I don't know. I mean, look, Imperial Geomancers are the shit. Let's actually look at their cost. They're old. Ugh. But damn, guys. I tell you what. You get a 65 gold mage that can be casting Gifts of Heaven. That's pretty scary. These guys are good. These guys are so good. I mean, in addition, they can do Earth stuff like buff up your army. They can do Astral stuff like Soul Slay or whatever. Just be communion slaves. They're pretty legit. I like them. Uh, so I don't, I, you know, I would expect this is going to be doing Army of Gold or something, but this is a lot of Bakamano Sorcerers, and I don't think, well, okay, I, I have no idea if TNG actually has the resources to fight all these people. We're going to get some scouts out, though. Yeah, we can do repeat recruitment for a while until I get bored of that. Um, man, we have a big mage force. We're just going to delete shit when we go, when we roll out. I mean, it's going to be a little crazy. Okay, so, yeah, we've rerouted this guy. Um, 
After that, maybe we make... We'll probably be about ready to make our foray into blood. Uh, by the time we empower that guy and get, you know, 70-something... Uh, blood slaves. So this will probably be the last guy we empower, and after that it'll be vampires. Which, I mean, let's be real. I, I highly doubt... But I said this during my own game. I, I highly doubt we're gonna have, like, a real blood economy. But we might. The game goes super long, which this one certainly has the potential to. Um, I think the other thing I need to do is start eating all. So... I think we're gonna kind of chill out a little bit. Like, okay, have we site searched this for... yeah, we site searched, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna take all of these dudes, and we're gonna move them over here. We're continuing to get more of these guys. We're gonna take these folks and move them over here, and then next turn we'll probably attack this. I kind of want to know what's on Ulm. I kind of also want to know what some of the thrones are, but I think in terms of, like, exact importance it would be better to know what's on Ulm. Because next turn I may attack this, but I can't see this province, so if Ulm has a big stack in it, we probably won't attack. Um. Okay, this, Okay, we need to make sure we got all of the fertility cults out, because they're going to be just messing with my dominion here. Um... Oh wait, I saw an important event. A large- a secretarian movement has emerged. False prophets been preaching. I feel like I, I have some of these bad events lurking. They're not gonna be in my lands, but... When you conquer other people, for various reasons, either because they are not paying attention to themselves, or because, um, it's tricky to, to, like, patrol, get rid of some of these bad events while you're being attacked. Which is, like, why I haven't taken care of them, even though I've had them now for, like, a year. But, uh, it does, you, it's something to be aware of. There can be, like, a bunch of false prophets, which are gonna destroy your dominion or fertility cults, uh, in people's lands when you conquer it. Even if you've been pretty good about keeping those out of your lands. Ivy King. Okay. Wait, somebody's been... Okay, uh, your wizard Harry, uh, the god of Facia, has been permanently vanquished. At the end, he did not rule a single province and has nowhere to return. So, I guess that means that Yis has finished them. I assume this was their last fort, their capital, but who knows. Um, we see a battle here with Relay on top of uh, Vanna Roos. <laughs> but yeah, I think the play is take Ohm's stuff. Maybe even Ohm's cap. Okay, we gotta bring enough stuff down here. Do we have. Okay, this is our Earth guy. I think I want to have some spammers here. Um, okay, and then we'll go ahead and get these guys set up. I think for this one, we're not going to do... Okay, conservative gym use. I think we're just going to do... Uh, a Poison Ward in case. He has not cast it all game, and I doubt he's going to be doing anything new right now, but I'm a superstitious man. I think we'll bring, like, ten pearls. Um, I want to be able to do Will of Fates. I'll bring some Water Gems, too, just in case. Um, give you a Water Lens.
Okay, and that should be sufficient to take this out. Oh, the only thing is I need to make sure this guy has all his stuff. So he's just going to do... Um... Do temper flesh, and then... Army of gold... Or lead... I don't really have fire stuff, we'll do army of lead. No way I don't really need to do anti-magic. Uh, and then we'll get all these guys positioned. Like that. Okay, now almost everybody's on guard commander. We just have like a little tail guard here. <laughs> so I'm actually cool with that. Let's take a look at Mr. Hands. He's getting pretty big now. Yeah, he's got some magic paths. So you can see he's got shock resistance 10 now. So it was pretty expensive, but uh, it is kind of nice. Uh, our MR goes up too with every astral path we get. So, uh, what is? Okay, I thought it did. Train plus one, magic bonus plus one. What's the magic bonus plus one? Not actually sure. I could have sworn astral gave you eight plus five plus seven, eight plus seven. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, the Dominion bonus is not Astral, so I, maybe it doesn't. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I thought it did. Maybe it used to in an, in an older version or something like that. Uh, give you the Storm Spool for now. So now he can cast Wish without any boosters. And he may do it one more time, just to get up to 10. And then my Magic Duel tricks will be just top-notch. And I'm gonna get... Like, very high paths and some of my other paths, like water, I mean like air is going to be really high. It'll be my highest air. Um, I'll be able to do vampires super easy. Um, yeah. Potentially, you can also wish for better stats, and I'm not sure what it is. Actually, I'm going to go look, pause and look it up. Okay, I looked it up, and uh, if you wish for strength, you get 50 hit points. Plus five attack, defense, and precision, um, which is kind of huge when you're at 35 defense and you up to 40. That's actually a big difference, because 40 is the range where like horrors can't really hit you very easily, um, and thugs are going to be. I mean, you're going to be even after big harass penalties, you'll be very, very high. Um, so that's kind of cool. You also get, wait, what is, it, is that it? Oh, you get 20 strength too. So that will turn all of these into like one hit kills against TARS or even stronger things. We're not stronger things, but you know, like uh, super combatants who just murder. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of cool. The hit point bonus actually is really nice because I think that'll get doubled. So I think it'll be an effective 100 more HP. Uh, if you keep casting it though, it, you don't get more and more, you get half the benefit. So I guess like three of these and 25, uh, and then 10 more strength. But it would probably be worth casting once. Uh, but that only matters if I use him in combat, and right now I'm not sure I will. The other thing I can do is I, I'm gonna be able to astral travel him, which I can't do yet. But I can potentially, if I have a, a nice big old army, I can just teleport him and the whole army on top of somebody, and he can cast, especially with one more magical power, he'll be able to cast every spell in the game almost instantly, because I'll be able to set him up with an army script. I guess his script is gone. Like, time stop, which only costs 100 fatigue, uh, but it's astral 6, but we're astral 9 by the base, so we'll only take 30 fatigue from casting it, and then if we use more gems, we'll take less. So, like, we could do time stop, and then we could do, 
I mean, he's ridiculously high in Earth. So we could drop Army of Gold, then Will of Fates, then Fog Warriors, and then, you know, any spell we want to. Like... Uh, or we could do Mass Protection and then Wrathful Sky or something. You know, like, we could do all sorts of things. So this guy, Mr. Hands, is going to be... I think a very important part of our late game strategy. Um, so I know I'm wasting a lot, but I've wasted a lot on Nexus, and that hasn't really gotten me anything, except the few wars I had to get out of with my neighbors. Um, okay, do we need to site search anywhere? Because Mr. Hands has some site searching potential. I feel like research is not a very good use of his time. Uh, maybe he just ventures out. But also, if he ventures out, they could potentially try to send people in to kill him. Which... I don't know what it would be. Uh, it would have to be pretty pretty cool to kill Mr. Hands. I would kind of like to see it. But... Uh, you know, things exist. They definitely exist. They could do it. Um... Hmm. Right now I've been using them for cross-path forging, which I think is a reasonable use. Oh, we got Construction 8. So this is actually kind of cool. Um, Mind Hunt. I do like that. Neth is kind of cool. Is he cursed? I can't remember. Oh, Atlas of Creation is still up. That's like probably my favorite. I don't think it's terribly useful here because, well, no, I've still there's a lot of things I haven't site searched. It might be good to go just pop on all my forts. I don't think it'll pay for itself though. I have a lot of labs, though. I mean, it's not going to find much. I've done a pretty good job site searching, but I guess all this stuff I haven't done a great job of. It might still be worth it. I would probably find, like, maybe eight gems worth of I mean, eight gems worth of sites over, like, 20 turns. Cost 40. I mean, it cost 80, so I guess you could justify it, sort of. If I don't have anything better to do, I might make that. Have all the... Oh man, like, Fever Fetish hasn't been taken? They haven't taken any of the good ones. Holy shit, have they taken the crown? Yeah, okay, they've taken this one. That one's the shit. Um, let's see what else people have taken. This gives you a mummy commander every turn, which is useful if you have a lot of free spawn. Which we don't. Um, Ages. Dawnfang? Is that still up? That's still up. That's a good... Very good at killing tarts. And I know there are tarts rolling around, so actually we probably should forge that. That goes on the lists. Trident from Beyond. Magic Water plus one, and then it gets a Soul Slay. Um. Bow of the Titans, not bad against Tianchi, or Pythium. I need a big boss to shoot it, though, but that's actually not bad. Uh, it's 8 AN damage, which will kill a lot of guys. Um, probably worth it. It's really only good against human nations, uh, but I'm 
lucky to be fighting him. If I'm fighting Relay, that's actually my hardest matchup that I probably would like to win the most. I wonder if there's some item where I could keep people from retreating, like it disables teleporting. I feel like that exists. I know, like, Doom Horrors have it. Um... Ooh. Wait, this hasn't been made. Holy shit. That's pretty useful. Being able to do really high level forts on my thrones. I mean, it can be the difference between winning and losing. Um, not horrible for economy either. This doesn't exist. We could make that. That actually would be super sick on Mr. Hands. Basically, he can zap an entire army around with him, and he can cast, you know, ridiculous shit. Um, I could even, like, teleport in another mage with him to refill him on gems every turn. But yeah, that would be... I think this actually is going to be like a game-winning item. So that might be what we aim for. Most people aren't going to be able to forge it, because most people getting up to this path is really hard. And actually, it's cheaper to wish for. So we'll probably wish for it. Um... I'm looking to see if there was some way to lock people down. Um, a gin would be kind of funny to get, but always risky. Too low a level. Orb of Atlantis, kind of cool. Not really. I mean, it would be good to get just to deny. This actually is a really good item. Um. Wait, no, not this one. Where's the Midget Masher? Or not Midget Masher, what is it? Midget's Revenge. I thought this was it. Okay, maybe not. I thought there was only, there was one item that Yeah, okay, I don't know. There's one item you can use for killing golems, which otherwise are pretty hard to Oh, there's a horror harmonica floating around. Holy shit, that means there's probably a horror harmonica golem. Uh, let's see if boots of the plains exist. Okay, these don't. I don't know if I want them. I don't know what I would put them on. I mean, they're not bad to have on a golem. It really is part of the gear for the horror harmonica, horror harmonica golem. Hmm. Too low a level. Wait, this doesn't exist either? Two water gems a month for fire? Fire three is all it takes? Oh, yes please? So I think that's our first one. I really like water gems, if you couldn't tell. So, if I get any way to turn fire gems into water gems, I'm gonna take it. Uh, plus, it's generating long-term economy. I think we're going to get a lot of the economy ones, which are kind of nice. I can't believe they're still there. They're pretty cheap. Normally people grab them up. Uh, this will probably be a long-term 
very important one. I really thought there was one that kept people from using returning. But I'll have to ask in Discord. Um, okay. You're gonna hang tight. If this goes under siege, I'm gonna attack this. If TNG loses here, I don't know. I, I think the thing is, like... At some point, I'm gonna wanna plunder it. Like, plunder his stuff. Where's TNG? Okay, here it is. It's two moves away from this, so my army can be on TNG's cap really fast. And, like, potentially, I could send a golem the same time I send an army here, and so then... He's not really gonna... Like, get PD or anything. Okay, I wanted this. We'll have to make that later. What is... Cast Falling Frost. This might be useful if I have an important caster that I am uh, taking into Relay and Lands and I don't want him to die to Assassins. This would be a good way to guarantee that. These are pretty good on Golem- or not this. This is super good on Golems. Really high protection. Uh, same thing here, even higher protection. You get shit defense, which you already have shit defense. The limited regeneration you don't get, but... Armor of Virtue, that already exists. Okay, um, what should you make? I actually really like having these to zap around. Maybe we'll let you make one of those. And then we'll probably start saving our Earth Astral stuff for... Earth and Astral for making a gate stone. That's going to be crazy when Mr. Hand starts showing up with... Yeah, actually, I, I don't need to save Earth, I just need to save Astral for that. This is... how this is still one. I wonder if there's something going on here. Okay, yeah, there is. It's been there so long. Okay, so we gotta patrol this. and get this secretari Secretariat movement out. It's, you know, it's depleting a lot of candles. Um, let's make some hats. Everybody likes hats. Um, let's have you site search. Maybe you make an air booster for me. Um, okay, we're preaching. It's going to be a long grind to get really high dominion down. I don't even know if it will work. I forget what the formula is, but... Um, does it say it somewhere? Um, okay, yeah, it doesn't say. I'd have to look it up, but there's a good chance at 8 we have a 0% chance of affecting it with a level 3. But by the time, I'm gonna have so much Dom pressure like candles pushing in this way, that in not too long it'll be where I can affect it, and so like moving him out I'll just have to move him back. So he's just gonna sit here, and if there's a 5% chance it works, then great. Uh, okay. Kind of would like to get more bats. Bats can start doing crazy things too later. I mean, they're, they're actually kind of... They can kind of get countered by... 
uh, a bunch of the like remotes, like any of the assassinations will probably work. And then uh, so will things like uh, Enchanted Arrow, but or Seeking Arrow. But, uh, but yeah, you can put, like, lifelong protections on them, and they become reasonably good raiders. Which, I'm not really a blood power, but I probably have enough blood slaves I could have a couple of those. Though maybe I would rather have vampires. Um. Okay, um, yeah, what were our events? Fertility festival? That better not be from a fertility cult. We don't like fertility festivals. Okay, let's site search here with him. Man, I was gonna offer this up to Pythium. I think this was about the same time, like, the player, because we uh, we had to do a player switch. And this other player seems to be doing pretty well, judging by army movements and then the troop build up here. But, um, but yeah, I was gonna give, like, these two and maybe even this one to Pythium just to, like, make peace. I mean, we weren't at war, but, like, to buy some kind of loyalty or a nap or something. Uh, but I didn't have to, and I'm certainly happy to collect income from these. Um, because I don't know how long it will last. Now, the thing I'm going to have to decide, uh, the big thing is what to do diplomatically. Um, right now, there is a bunch of juicy TC stuff I can take. Uh, now if I take it, uh, there's a good chance the Alliance will disband, and they will refocus on me. So, I think the best situation for me is these guys get in a slow, grindy, winning war against TNG, and meanwhile, I prepare to backstab probably Pythium. Or potentially Relay. But... Honestly, I don't really... I, like, I can kind of lose the game by attacking Relay. Uh, maybe not. Maybe if I just take their capital and all those little rings of returning idiots... But I don't know. It, taking relay stuff is going to be very hard. I mean, everybody that comes is going to need a bottle of water, and then you're going to need more mage support than him, and he's got a shit ton. You could possibly do it. Like, I mean, not really. Just thinking about it. How would you do it? It'd be really hard be really hard. Um, if Vanarus is winning, I could do it. The thing is, Relay's gonna attack me at some point, but I would rather, I think, be attacked than attack. And then if he attacks me, and then I wipe his stuff out, then I can counter, but... So I think we want to build that up. Is there anywhere else that's just conspicuously low dominion, where there might be, like, a sectarian cult? this place. I think that's just dominion pressure. I would kind of like to fort up a little bit more underwater. Like, maybe put a fort right here. Okay, when this guy gets here, if I remember, we're gonna build a fort. This might not be a bad place for a fort, too. And I don't even need a ton, just... And actually, maybe all my provinces, like... Like, maybe this one. Which have... Uh, decent sites. I just get a palisades on them, and then I can also stick a temple in them. Um... 
Because I think if my end game play is I end up doing a huge, like, thousand gem casting of... Oh, what the hell are you? Strands of Arcane Power? If I do that... Then... Yeah. I think, like, if I do that, having a huge amount of Dominion Pressure is going to be really good. Also, if other people have things that is bad in their Dominion, you know, like if they put up some crazy thing, like Vengeful uh, Waters or something like that, uh, having that up will also be really good. Um... Okay. Let's see what else. Okay, this guy is going to make it down here. The other kind of news is that our uh, the two places we've sieged, the walls haven't really broken down very much. This one is the walls are only moderately damaged, and this one the walls are severely damaged. But I don't think, uh, I don't think we're going to break it this turn. I think we have two more turns, but maybe not. We, maybe we get it this turn. Uh, we're moving in some more folks. Basically, this person with a fair amount. I'll give her a little bit more. Fair amount of water gems, uh, and that should be enough to take this. Uh, we're beginning to preach here, and you can see our Dominion is almost ready to pop in, so that's actually good news. Um, Dominion is almost ready to turn here, which is good news. Um, if nothing else, we'll be happy to get rid of these like non-luck scales that we think we wanted. Um, the other thing that we've done by taking... Uh, Celestial Rainbow from uh, TNG is now his lands are going to be much more susceptible to like uh, Cloud Trap Peasing Harbingers and things like that from Pythium. Um, but he is having, he has a pretty massive empire. I don't know how far north he comes. You can see the map's really big. Like I know I look enormous, but like there's this whole portion of the map where you really can't even see my flag. So it's a big old map, right? I mean, there's this whole portion of the map, too, that I control. Like, I'm probably the biggest now. Um, but not by a huge margin, I don't think. Let's count our provinces. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32... Um, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Um, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, uh, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Holy shit. 81, 82. So that is a lot of provinces for not even being, like, really in throne reach range yet. So if we look at the map... Uh, well, how many... How big is the map? Like, what's the highest... 208, but that can't be right. Three oh five, three seventeen, yeah, it looks like it's about like three twenty. So I've got at least a fourth of the map. At least a fourth of the map. Um so I'm probably the biggest, probably by a small, like a, probably a, a, a margin, probably by, like, probably the next biggest player is like 60 or something. So I'm, I've almost got 20 provinces, I think, on the next player. So that's kind of good. 
Honestly, though, guys, I've never seen a weapon like I've had in Mr. Hands. I mean, not only is he just disgusting in and of himself, uh, especially now that we fixed some of this shock vulnerability that got him killed earlier. Uh, not just with this, but with the uh, being Air 3 now. But when I get a gate stone on him, it's going to be crazy. Crazy. Um, yeah. The only problem is he can't breathe on land. So I do have to, like, if I did Gatestone, I would have to take the Ring of Regeneration off. Which makes it a little dicey. I do have to worry about those horrors a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Those stupid Brass Claw horrors. Um... Okay, Mr. Hands isn't going to research. Maybe we make another Skull of Fire, even though we probably have better things we could make. Uh, I'm looking here at the very powerful magic item, see if there's any cross-path item I particularly desperately need. Temporary Astral Gems, that would be kind of cool. Problem putting items on my astral mages they can all be uh, magic dueled, which okay yeah I think we're just gonna make fire gear. Cause I don't really have anybody else who can make it, and it will be good. It's cheap. Um, okay, Earth guys, let's have y'all make. More earth things out of. No, I'm not. More armor of the knights. It's always helpful. And then. Let's find some more earth mages here. We've made it, we've now assigned orders to everybody. We have an, a surplus of money, which we probably need more mages on this front. So we'll spend that. Here, I kind of want mages, but I also kind of want scouts. Here, we're forging, or we're making as much stuff. So, um, I'm actually... Oh, the unrest here. Yeah, we're going to need that to break through here. Still a bit of unrest. I think this is coming down, but I would kind of like to take a turn patrolling. It would probably... well, I already got a fair amount of income. It's probably okay. It's probably going to make its way down naturally. Better to go ahead and get this one turn early, I think. Uh, how much seed strength do I have? 147? Yeah, this is definitely going to need another little squad, especially if there's anybody inside. Um, this is low dominion. I could potentially get my dominion here pretty easily. In fact, that's probably the better place to preach for a minute anyway. Um, hmm. Go ahead and get six. I think we're gonna, this I try to do every once in a while. Come through here and make sure I've got PD everywhere. We're actually going to go up to 10. Any place I see that's not 10. That way we get that nice little unrest reduction bump. In case bad events happen and we're a little bit more resistant to like indie events and things like that. Uh, may not be the best min max, but it's kind of nice. It does reduce micro a little bit in that you don't have to worry about it unrest as much. Like you can see there's still a smattering of unrest in some of these. Some places more than a smattering. So having a little bit of... Let's look at which places have the most income versus unrest. Uh, this place has a lot of the Sacred Lake. Maybe y'all get put up to 20. 
Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Where's the sacred lake? Yeast has a fair amount of unrest. How is that? Not sure. I wonder if it's just taken a long time to come down. I do have turmoil, so I'm not very good at getting rid of unrest. Oh, no. This is... I mean, for some reason I was thinking Pelagia. I was like, why hasn't it come down yet? No, Pelagia is zero unrest. Um... But I think this is about it. What is it? What are we doing here? Okay, the other thing I need to make, and I need to make it pretty quickly, I think, is uh, the, the Tomb of Masons. Forgotten Masons. Um, I'll probably put it on an Astral Mage who can teleport around with it. Uh, but basically it's going to allow me to, at least, you know, like, it's probably worth to upgrade this to the next level fort for all of my capitals. So that would be like here, and here, and then maybe Pangea. Pangea I'll have to think about. Um, and here, yeah, well this already is. So this gives a nice admin bonus, like 60, whereas I think my other forts are more schmuckety, like 45. So I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, it will probably be good to do on the, the thrones too, so they can't get taken nearly, nearly as easily. Being at a thousand versus being at five hundred, big difference. Um, what is the fortification here? Seven fifty. Yeah. But that can make a big difference too, because then you can do things like iron walls and stuff. If and then it's really hard for them to get an army big enough to take things one turn. Maybe here we actually should have a bigger fort, so it's less likely they one turn pop me. Okay, guys, if y'all thought that was going to work, I've just got something else for you. She's going to need an air hat, too. So I'm glad I'm forging one of those this turn. Okay, the other thing I needed to do was I needed to make a kit. Um, okay, wait, let's take some of these items off of people doing not terribly important things. Like... You said switch to astral everywhere to three? No. Like, I, I could potentially have some unfound doors and stuff lying around. Um, is it worth it? Do I have? I have a coin. It may not be a bad idea. I don't think you're going to have anything better to do. But yeah, we can side search here and here and then walk our ass over here. There's like a 5% chance we found an, we find an unfound door. And there's like a 1% chance we find a better site. Less than that. That's in both of these. Um, okay. You know, the other thing... Oh, yeah. I forget the... I think it's like all your paths minus two is what Strands of Arcane Power searches for. So, um, like some of these, like, if I didn't have any skill in it before, it'll only be site search to level one uh, in my empire with Strands of Arcane Power, if I put that up. Uh, that's once I go up one more level in all my levels. So... Okay, the other thing we needed to do, and I've, I've got my Vine Ogre down here, but we need to make... Uh, one of these for him. I need... do I have? I feel like I'm making a bunch of useless shit somewhere. 
I need to find where is my useless shit making center and then turn that off. Take some of those hammers. Okay, where are the freaking hammers? I know I have some. Okay, we don't really need the armor of knights. It's more like make work and then we can take one of these off too. We need to make some nature items. So the nature items we need to make are Okay, so this guy, what are you going to make? You are going to make a thistle mace, and you are going to make... Wait, what the fuck? We don't have enough to make a cornucopia, do we? Okay, you are not going to make that. You, are, you can make knight armor. You can make a cornucopia. And that will go on this guy. I think that's it. I think that's this turn. So, uh, not much going on, but somehow we still used up an hour talking about it uh, and playing it. So, anyway, thanks guys for watching. See you next time.